Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video we will be solving this problem that came in IDJ 2002. So this is a very good problem so do give this a try and then and check the solution later for the concepts involved. So we have a metal bar AB that can slide on two parallel thick metal rails which is separated by a distance L. We have a resistance R and an inductance L that are connected to the rails as shown in the figure. A long straight wire carrying a constant current I0 is placed in the plane of the rails as shown. The bar AB is held at rest at a distance x0 from the long wire. So at t equal to 0, it is made to slide on the rails away from the wire. So we have to find the relation among i, di by dt and dfi by dt. So that is question number 8. Okay, so let's try to understand what's happening in the problems. So this rail is made to move towards the right with some velocity. So as a result, the flux through this loop changes and an EMF will be induced in this loop. And let's call the magnitude of the induced EMF as let's say E. And this E we can easily determine as d phi by dt, where d phi by dt is the rate of change of flux through this loop. So now all we have to do is write uh, the Kirchhoff's loop law for this loop and that is going to be E. So the current through the loop, let's say it is some i, small i. So we can say E minus ir, which is the potential drop across the resistor, minus L di by dt, which is the potential drop across the inductor should all add up to zero. And E, we know it is d phi by dt. d phi by dt equals IR plus LDI by dt. So this is our required answer for question A. In part B, given that it is observed that at time small t equals capital T, the metal bar AB is at a distance of 2x0 from the long wire and the resistance R carries a current of I1. So we have to obtain an expression for the net charge that has flown through the resistance R from 0 to capital T. So now what I'm going to do is as we need the charge, uh, I'm going to rearrange this particular equation. I'm going to take this dt to the other side. So this is going to be R times I dt LDI. So now what I'm going to do is integrate on both sides. Now integral d phi is simply going to be the change in flux through the loop and integral i dt is the charge that has flown through the resistor. Integral di would simply be delta i. Okay, so now if we determine the value of del delta phi, then our question is done. So let's do that. Let's say at some general instant, the, the metal rail is at a distance of x from the current carrying wire. So at this particular instant, the magnetic field due to this long current carrying wire is varying with this radial distance, right? So let's say we radially move outward a distance r and we take a small patch of width dr. The small change in flux d phi associated with this small area element is going to be b dot da, right? The magnetic field at a distance of r due to a long current carrying wire is going to be mu naught i divided by 2 pi r and as the magnetic field is into the plane and also the area vector we can take it to be into the plane so this is simply going to be b times da and da is and the, and da is simply the area of this rectangle which is going to be uh, now the length of the rails uh, rail was given to be l so the small da of this rectangle is going to be l times dr now as we want the change in flux we'll just integrate on both sides and we'll get this particular expression for the change in flux initially this metal rail was at a distance of x naught from the wire and finally, it was at a distance of 2x0. So R2 by R1 would simply come out to be 2. So now we have the change in flux as this particular value. Okay, so now let's plug that back into our main equation. Now delta i at t equal to 0, there was no current passing through the loop. And finally, it was given that the current was I1. So this would be simply L I1 divided by R. So this is the charge that has flown through the resistor from t equal to 0 to capital T. Okay, so now in option C, so now let's move on to option C. So option C says that the bar is suddenly stopped at time t. The current through the resistance R is found to be I1 by 4 at time 2t. Okay, so then we have to find the value of L by R. So now if the bar is suddenly stopped, which means that it just means that the flux through this loop is now a constant. It's not changing with time, which basically means that d phi by dt would go to 0 and simply E would go to 0. So now our working equation simply becomes IR plus LDI by DT equals zero. So of now let's separate the variables. So at t equal to capital T, the current through the resistor was I1. And at t equal to 2T, it was given to be I1 divided by 4. Okay, so from here, L by R comes out to be T divided by LN, which is what they asked us to find in option C. So that was it for this problem, guys. If you have any doubts, you can comment down below. So and if you enjoyed the video, do like and subscribe and share it with your friends. And thanks for watching, guys.